Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and last night I went out to Mexican with friends and one of my friends always gets the Texas margarita. See, I get the regular margarita and he told me you gotta have a Texas margarita. What he didn't tell me until I had the margarita is that they put a lot more alcohol in that margarita. So the Digital Asset Investor is kind of feeling it this morning. I am trying my best to convey as much enthusiasm as you can have with a headache that's the real deal then this morning even though i didn't feel good i had to go straight to the grocery store because i'm one of those people i will not go to the grocery store in the middle of the day during thanksgiving so i had to go to the grocery store to get my pans for smoking my turkey i will be smoking a turkey tomorrow morning and i had to go ahead and get my the pans for it and a couple other things I even, you know what I, I do on, on uh, Thanksgiving when I'm smoking my turkey also is something I don't do except maybe like once a year. And that is I have a Bloody Mary. So um, maybe I'll take some video and some pictures of my, my turkey and my Bloody Mary for the members in my group at DAIXRP.com. And b by the way, I'm about to do something crazy in my member group. <laughs> and you're gonna, and those of you in it are gonna love it. I'm about to do, I talked to um, someone this morning and the plan is in motion. It's crazy and it's wild and it doesn't have anything to do with crypto, but it's gonna be fun. And I, I'm gonna involve everybody in the group and we're gonna have a hell of a time. I'll tell you that. Egrag Crypto, XRP, there's a lot going on right now in crypto, folks. Once you spot it, you're hooked. The FOMO is about to hit hard at $2, my bank account. It's XRP all the way. Every gain feeds back into XRP. I love it. He says, once you see it. Now, the digital asset investor knows nothing about charting, but I'm looking at this and I'm trying to see it. I see $2. I see $40, wait a minute. Now I see it. I think I see it, what he's talking about. I don't know because I don't know how to read a chart. I wanna give Ashley Prosper a shout out. Ashley Prosper, for those of you that don't know, it was, it was and is one of the most integral people on XRP uh, X, I always call it Twitter still, that, was involved in, in is, it, it actually is a, an attorney is my understanding and has been integrally involved in, in a lot of the ETHgate stuff and all, always been over the target and look at what she went and did. Dear whoever this person is, Christopher Cardacci, uh, the account of a prominent XRP community member, digital asset investor was terminated without warning, true story, or notification, true story. This is completely unacceptable. I'm reaching out to you because you are part of X's legal department and have the power to advise that his account be reinstated. Terminating his account in this way is a violation of X's own policies and should be remedied without delay. Thank you for taking the time to read this and I hope you take swift action to resolve this ongoing problem and restore the trust we had in this platform. Thank you, Ashley. And guess what, folks? Today I met I met with um, someone yesterday. Okay, today I'm meeting again, and it's about to be on like Donkey Kong. And it, all y'all uh, out here in the XRP community, uh, you'll get your chance to be involved because I'm not gonna. Go, I don't go quietly. We don't. We don't sit down and take it here at the Digital Asset Investor Channel. That's not how I roll. We're going. We're we're very likely about to to. I'm not interested in lawsuits and all that stuff, but that doesn't mean we can't create a social media circus. Elon Musk at least deserves that. Now, and I'll say, look, I want to go ahead and say this. I think, I still think that this was one of those 
algorithm mistake type things. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. But that doesn't mean we can't have fun with it, Elon, right? Stay tuned. It's coming sooner than you think. Um, now, uh, on the CZ Binance thing, folks, I was reminded of Kendra Hill this morning. I mean, I was going through all this, the Binance stuff, and I'm, I'm reminded of Kendra Hill who said, Cryptocurrency will be made illegal. This is not a maybe. This is a warning. Nothing is left up to chance. Da, da, da. Um, and she said the illusion is that Bitcoin, for example, is untouchable. The reality is that the government controlled through the use of its government controlled and created, in my opinion, through the use of mining pools. Any cryptocurrency aiming to be de decentralized currency will not survive. The one that will be that that we will use has already been chosen. That's back a long time ago. Then she disappeared. And then there was this. This was sent to me this morning by the official cool guy of the Digital Asset Investor Channel. You know him as Mr. Intuitive. Okay. Now, we've played this before, but it's worth playing again. Now, I'm at a place, folks, where I think that they're going to allow, and I do mean allow, Bitcoin to survive which is why I own a little bit of it. I don't own it because I believe in the long term, how, this great technology, because it's not a great technology. Bitcoin is the greatest distraction. What? From Back the it up. Bitcoin is the greatest distraction from the greatest disruption that is coming to financial services. Um, That's I think really AI is probably the other big. That's what I think it is, is the great distraction. I, I believe that Bitcoin ser served several purposes. I've said it a thousand times. I believe it served the purposes of sucking everybody into the system. I believe it served the purpose after the financial crisis of, the, I believe they were worried about the people losing faith in the financial system after they watched these government a-holes bail out all their friends and not bail and pick and choose the winners and the losers. I believe it was like a hedge against people losing faith in the financial system and going straight into gold. I believe that's why they did the drop gold campaign because they want to make you think that gold's this old thing or whatever. Folks, it's not. Gold is everything. Gold is God's money and always has been and always will be. And anything they try to convince you of otherwise, like she said, is a great distraction. Now. That does not mean that they won't allow Bitcoin to survive, and it does not mean that you can't make a ton of money on Bitcoin. I plan on making a ton of money on owning my Bitcoin because I think they're going to allow it to exist as long as they can control it. And I think they think they can control it by creating ETFs as one of the reasons. Um, so now. Uh, this is John Deaton. He says, when Larry Fink said there will be a flight to quality to Bitcoin uh, and crypto, the writing was on the wall. The incumbents are coming. He's a thousand percent right. Okay. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to play that, but you get, the, you get the picture. Now, this is interesting right here. I didn't see this. Digital Perspectives, Brad Combs said, according to Bitcoinist, SEC versus Ripple, closed door meeting, SEC upcoming closed door meeting with Ripple. The, US, the SEC announcement started off with the time and the date of the upcoming closed door meeting, which is expected to take place on Thursday, November 30th, 2023 at approximately 2.15. According to the notice, the meeting will be held via remote means or at the commission's headquarters. Da, da, da. Upcoming meeting with Ripple will see several subject matters being discussed and handled. These include institutions, institution and settlement of injunctive actions, institution settlement of administrative proceedings, resolution of litig litigation claims, matters related to litigation, and other matters, da da da. Dates of fin final case revealed. Pro XRP lawyer John Deaton has recently revealed, da da da. Anyway, this is from a, an article, I guess. I didn't see the article. And then we had this. This is from. The Department of Justice yesterday. Instead, they concluded that complying oh. with U.S. law would stifle Binance. their efforts to grow Binance's profits, market share, and trading volume. So, 
Rather than comply, Binance facilitated billions of dollars of unregulated cryptocurrency transactions. It willfully enabled hundreds of millions of dollars in transactions between American users and users subject to U.S. sanctions. And its platform accommodated criminals across the world who use Binance to move their stolen funds and other criminal proceeds. Binance prioritized its profits over the safety of the American people. In part because of the crimes it committed, Binance became the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Now, Binance is paying one of the largest corporate penalties in U.S. history. Binance employees knew and discussed that the company was serving thousands of users in sanctioned countries. And they knew that facilitating transactions between U.S. users and users in sanctioned countries would be in violation of U.S. law. But they did it anyway. Binance enabled nearly $900 million in transactions between U.S. and Iranian users. And it facilitated millions of dollars in transactions between U.S. users and users in Syria and in the Russian-occupied Ukrainian regions of Crimea, Donetsk, and Luhansk. Binance's own compliance personnel also knew that the company's anti-money laundering procedures were inadequate and would attract criminals to the platform. In a February 2019 chat, one compliance employee wrote that they needed a banner that said, quote, is washing drug money too hard these days? Come to Binance, we got cake for you. By failing to comply with US law, Binance made it easy for criminals to move their stolen funds and illicit proceeds on its exchanges. What I wanna know is whether this guy, Merrick Garland, is investigating Gary Gensler in his meetings with FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried. Gary Gensler has said over and over and over about how all these these exchanges are not in compliance with the law. And so why was Gary having meetings and half of Congress and the White House and everybody else, why were they having meetings with Sam Bankman-Fried? Is he investigating that? We now know that SBF and FTX were doing all sorts of shady stuff. Where's the investigation into what the government was doing, what they were doing, meeting with him? So here's more on Binance. And back to the news of the day, Binance founder Changping Zhao agreed to step down and plead guilty to violating criminal U.S. anti-money laundering charges, according to the Wall Street Journal. And for more, we're joined by Bloomberg's Hannah Miller. When you look at this uh, guilty plea coming from the head of the world's largest crypto exchange weeks after the Sam Bankman free trial ended, how much of a cloud is there over the industry still? It's yet another stunning blow to the crypto industry. CZ is the ba biggest name in crypto right now. Binance is the largest crypto exchange by trading volume in the world. So this is a major hit for an industry that's just been beset by scandals and scams. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, this is another prominent figure. Uh, and we've seen what's happened to uh, other prominent figures in crypto in the past. When you actually look at the court document, the different counts that are being charged here, in addition to the money laundering, there's sanctions violations, violations of the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, all of this, of course, being criminal charges. But there remains a huge open question, Hannah, about what happens in the civil case like the one brought with the SEC. I, I get the sense that this is not actually over. This is not over, not by any means. Yes, we still have that SEC's lawsuit. There are still actions against competitors to Binance, like Coinbase. Uh, there's a lot to shake out here. And it's not over yet for Binance. It's not over for CZ. There are many questions about whether he will be able to maintain majority ownership of Binance and whether the exchange will be able to continue to operate normally. Okay, I've got so much more, but what I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to stop this video for the YouTube crowd. I'm going to go into the uh, I'm going to do the other stuff uh, that I have on Binance in my next video. Um, but I'm going to uh, go to the private group. Here's what we're going to talk about in the private group today. We're going to talk about what I think is really going on with Binance and what really Binance potentially was and is. We're going to talk about that. 
and again, it's always, you know, folks, there's, the crypto has so much darkness, and I think that this is part of it. Um, and a lot of the darkness comes from our own government, but, but a lot of the darkness comes from other countries that I think own our government pretty much, and it's so sad and makes me mad and sick for my children's future, but we're going to talk about that in the group. We talk about a lot of that. What, you know what else I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to talk about it because I've still got it in the works. I'm about to do something wild. I, I, I actually came up with this. Um, I didn't come up with it last night, but the subject of an idea I've had for many, many years came up last night over margaritas and I'm about to do it in my I'm going to initiate the plan in my private group. It doesn't have anything to do with crypto, but it's going to be fun. And I already talked to uh, Brad Combs, and I, I'm also getting on the phone today with someone that I know from L.A., like that would be plugged into entertain, the entertainment industry. And I'm going to initiate the plan. I've been wanting to do this for you. This is a thing that's been on my bucket list, Okay. And I am going to do it, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, funny, hilarious, and it's going to be one hell of a story, too. Go to DAIXRP.com, and if you want to join, it's going to be an adventure. If you want to join the adventure, DAIXRP.com, because we're about, we're about to turn on the jets, okay? Um, I'm a digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and tell your friends and family that in DAIXRP today, DAIXRP.com, we're going to talk about what's really going on with Binance and checking something off of the digital asset investor bucket list for that's been on there for a long time. And why not now? Why not in DAIXRP.com, the group? So here we go.